Hi everyone, welcome to episode number 9 of my channel, Psychology and Travels. I'm Antonia Frey and in this episode we're going to Montreux, Switzerland, which is a place that hosts the annual jazz festival. Let's check it out. Montreux is a beautiful city in the French-speaking part of Switzerland, Canton of Vaux. Like other cities that we have looked at, it is also situated at the Geneva Lake. Montreux is most famous for hosting the annual Jazz Festival. Montreux also has a collection of artificial grass animals. Some of them are pretty hilarious. Chillon Castle, French Château Chillon, is an island castle situated south of Veto between Montreux and Villeneuve. It is currently open to the public for visits, and according to its website, it is one of Switzerland's most visited castles. The jazz festival usually takes place about two weeks in July and it hosts a lot of international jazz singers and bands. But not only, the place is packed with different types of food, street music and very many people. Welcome back everyone! 
In today's personal development part, I'm going to talk about the benefits of music. As some of you might know, I'm a singer as well. You can tell by the uh, G key that I carry with me most of the time. So to me, music has always been something really special. And I couldn't help noticing over the years how it just improves my mood in what seems like no time at all. And that's exactly what I'm going to talk about today. So here's a list of the many health benefits that music brings about. So there you go. According to research, music does the following things. It improves visual and verbal intelligence. It lowers stress. It improves learning and memory. It relaxes patients before and after surgery. It keeps the brain healthy at an old age. It strengthens the immune system. It reduces anxiety and depression. It regulates the heartbeat. It lowers the blood pressure. It improves sleep. And it generally makes very happy. So here's one particular way that music can help you improve your mood. For example, if you're really sad, um, my recommendation would be to listen to a song that basically reflects that state of sadness that you're experiencing. Allow yourself to feel that emotion to its fullest and not try to deny it, suppress it or anything else. You could try to listen to a neutral song, something that's neither happy nor sad, just, you know, to get you to change your state a little bit and not force it, right? And after that, you can try to listen to something that's more upbeat. And like that, you would see how your mood gradually changes from sad to neutral to a bit more, you know, enthusiastic and happy. So.